part of what we have said from the beginning about this series and what we want to do different, approaching boxing perhaps differently than it's been done lately, is um, <coughs> the fact that two people didn't see Steve winning the fight shouldn't mean that his career comes to a halt. So when this opportunity arose, we, we got in touch with Steve. We said, you know what, you're the guy who should be in this fight. Um, you're, the, you're the person who, who showed that he's capable of, of fighting with the very best, and you know Tyson Fury's willing to fight you, and will you fight him? And Steve's answer was, thank you. So uh, it's wonderful to deal with a fighter like that. It's wonderful to deal with a man like Steve um, with a family, with his wife, Libby, who was spectacular to deal with, my favorite manager. <laughs> And he, Steve and his lovely family, you know, in addition to being great people to work with, they're just great people to have as friends. And uh, I, I'm blessed that, that he finally uh, was able to get to the place in his career where he could come and work with main events. So uh, this is going to be Steve's, Steve's moment, Steve's chance, and it's up to him to take it and, 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 and seize it. So I let him explain to you how that's going to happen. The former cruiser, two-time cruiserweight champion of the world, Steve Kine. Um First of all, I'd like to thank I thank my Lord and Savior Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Um, I thank uh, Main Events for being a great promotional team, uh, a promotional team that has showed us even before we signed with them that they're promoters. They don't they don't promote themselves. They promote their fighters, which is the way it should be. And we're very appreciative of what you, how you do your business. We thank you. We've been on some other rocky ships, but so coming here, <laughs> it's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, I want to thank NBC. Uh, it's just a dream come true, you know, to, to just fight on television. You know, I've been a two-time cruiserweight champ. I've been the top of the cruiserweight division for years, and America hasn't known me. And uh, I had to go to Europe, you know, but just getting a chance to fight on television, you guys opening that door with main events, um, I'm happy to walk through it with you, and I thank you very much. I also want to thank uh, the IBF, you know. Um, these guys, the IBF, I've been dealing with the IBF since I've been dealing with championship fights. And, um, you know, they're, they're the most they're the most stand-up that we've seen. You know, they stick to their rules. We really respect them. We really appreciate them. And uh, they give me another opportunity to be heavyweight world champion, you know, by making this an eliminator. So I appreciate you guys, and thank you again. Um, of course, shout-out to my team, Nas, my wife, everybody who's helped me get ready for this fight. Um, you guys know me, you know. Um, I, I traveled the world. I've, rep I've represented this flag in numerous ways, you know. Four years in the United States Navy, so I started boxing. Uh, traveling the world to fight Germany, Poland, South Africa. I represent this flag. I'm going to represent this flag again on April 20th here in America, um, in, in the garden, you know, in New York, in, in basically the capital of America. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know, they gave me, they gave me, they told me about this fight, and I'm excited about the fight, you know. Um, a lot of guys turned it down. A lot of guys don't want to get in the ring with a, with a, a straight up giant. I mean, he's a, he's a literal giant, you know. Um, I'm a fighter. That's what I do, you know. Um, I, I grew up in Philly, you know. I, I had the threat of getting shot, you know, going to school. We still went to school, you know. There's no fear in me. You know, I fear no man, I fear the almighty God, that's it. I don't fear getting hit. I don't fear losing. That's the thing, that's the difference between me and a lot of guys. I don't fear losing. So that means I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna work my butt off in the gym, and I'm gonna do it in the in the fight. You know? I don't have no fear. You know, I'm gonna do what I do, but we're gonna do it intelligently. You know, uh, I pray that the judges, not just for my fight, but for every fight, that and every fighter, because we, we put our lives on the line in this sport, in this business, and, and fighters do die, fighters go into comas, fighters do get permanently injured. And for these judges to not be on their job like they are, like they haven't been, as we've seen time and time again, um, it's, it's unfair to the athlete who, that's the reason everybody's there. Without the boxer, boxing is nothing. So show respect to these guys and, and show respect to us as athletes and put in that best foot forward to study your job. Why are you judging? How are you judging this fight? What makes you judge this fight this way? And it's do a good job, just as the fighters are doing. Um, I don't have too much more to say. Uh, I just like I like the fight. I don't like to talk too much. Um, I, you know, I leave that for. I just like to train. You know, so like I said, I thank you guys. Thank you, Tyson Fury, for for coming to America, and and you got Hennessy Sports. If I'm getting it right, um, I come to win though. We have here 
a six foot nine modern day heavyweight. He was not cumbersome. He was not, you know, he was not overweight. He's athletic. He's in the best shape of his life. And to top it off, you know, he can he can box. He can fight. He can punch. He can talk. You know, he's he's got a great character. Tremendous character. He's going to give the heavyweight division the shot in the arm that it's needed for many years now. He's a real spe special talent and a real special person. A real special person. And everyone in the US is going to realise that come April 20th. This is this is uh, a great night. I, I want to fight. I want to thank Steve for, for stepping up because you know he's a man of steel. He really is. Because no matter what people say, there's a lot of people turn this young 24 year old down and you know he's, he's, he's got many years to come in this sport but he's already been avoided. Steve stepped up, he's a proper fighter, a proper champion and uh, we, we, we commend that so um, you know without further ado I'd like to pass you over to the person I believe is the best fighter on the planet right now and he's going to prove that over the next few months, Tyson Fury. stand up here so everyone can see me <laughs> but um i think everyone has heard what everyone's got to say really can everybody hear me in the back there yeah but i'd like to thank everybody for coming to see me on this uh, lovely afternoon where can i start um new york st patrick's day weekend you know it's a great pleasure for me to be here on this uh, weekend it's something that i've dreamed about since being a little kid you know coming up to new york fighting at madison square garden and um, it's finally come true, so I'd like to thank Kathy Doover and Mick Hennessy for making this come to reality for me. And also I'd like to thank Steve Cunningham for uh, taking the fight, you know, because like Mick said, there's been a lot of fighters in the world who didn't want to fight Tyson Fury, didn't want to come up, didn't want to uh, get in the ring with me. And um, he's got to uh, have credit where credit is due, you know, so I think he deserves a round of applause for stepping up to the plate. So, I'm sure he's a um, he's great trainer. Nazim Richardson has gone up with a great game plan, but you know, this is a heavyweight via light heavyweight, you know. No disrespect to Steve, he's the best opponent I've probably faced, because he's a world champion, I've never faced a world champion before. But I'm a man on a mission, and I mean business, you know. Steve's got a lot to be thankful for, he's been a world cruiserweight champion two times, he has a lovely wife and lovely children, but you know, I'm going to retire you Steve. You know, your heavyweight run is coming to an end, you know, you lost your last fight to Thomas Adam, make no disrespect because I thought you won it. But let's face it, Thomas Adam against Tyson Fury, you know, you're both light heavyweights, you're both small guys compared to me. And as Lance Lewis said once, you can run but you can't hide. I think this is a free hit fight. I hit him, he hits the floor, Tyson Fury hits New York. Also, I'd like to say, um, Mick Hennessy and Adam Harris have worked a lot on this fight to try and get me uh, to help me debut in America. But it was never the right time to come over, come over here and um, fight on different shows. But now we've got a big date, a big venue. Um, really, really happy to be here to be boxing on this uh, great day. No round of applause. <laughs> also, I have one more thing to say. This is a question to uh, Steve and Kathy. Um, I'm just wondering if the bottom of Steve's boots have been sponsored because as there's going to be a lot of people watching around the world I'd like to put my Twitter account on the bottom of it so I can get more fans on Twitter and I was wondering how much it's going to cost me to sponsor them if you haven't already been see, see here's what we have here like I said I grew up in Philadelphia right I grew up right at the cusp of kids from fist fighting to guns you know I was a street fighter that's what, that's what I did I just enjoyed fighting that's way before I stepped in the gym. I started boxing at 19. All of this happened when I was 13, 14. So back then, it's a, it's a cold. And it still runs through the streets still today. And that's the guys who talk a lot, they chumps. That's why I'm not going to talk. I'm going to talk all the sponsorship, Twitter, all that. That ain't going to help you on April 20th, all right? You can talk all that you want. Only reason this dude is winning fights is because he's big. Shrink him down to 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", he's garbage. <laughs> Plan out. The only reason, one thing I can say about the Klitschko brothers, because I've been in a camp with Vladimir, they're big, but they work hard, they're talented, they're skillful. If they were normal size, they'd still be champion. This dude right here is just winning fights because he's big. He's big. He leans on guys, he gets them tired. 
I don't get tired. I get better. You understand? Not only am I you dick, catch this, homie. I'm tall, dark, handsome, cool, calm, collected, super sexy. This guy's got <laughs> no chance at all, yeah? Let's talk about talent, size, whatever you want to be. I'm the best fighter on the planet, including all weight, because there's not a man born from his mother can beat Tyson Fury. I don't care if he's seven foot or three foot tall. Listen, Steve Cunningham's in big trouble. Come April 20th, this guy's getting knocked spark out. Guaranteed, 100%. I hope him and his trainer believe in magic, because he's gonna need a lot of magic to beat Tyson Fury. Steve Cunningham, the whole of Philadelphia behind him, and every man in it couldn't beat me, together. Never mind him on his own. There's not a man 200 pounds on the planet can beat me. Never mind you. And I ain't coming here to play games and talk nonsense. I'm here to fight, and I hope you're here to fight too. You, you talk a good game, I'm from Philly, I'm a tough guy, gangster. But let's have it real, yeah? I'm a fighting man, fighting's in my veins, blood, background, everything. From every man in my breed, seed and generation can fight. Let's go back in yours and see if yours can. I doubt it. Maybe you're a one-off, right? But listen, you're not a heavyweight for one, and I am. You are in trouble. And I mean business, and I'm going to hurt you seriously from April 20th. I hope you understand that. I hope your trainer understands that. I hope your wife understands that. I hope everybody understands it. Because I mean business. I didn't come to the USA to play around and play tip tap boxing. I came here to do demolition jobs on cruiserweights. What a big man. I understand. I understand. I understand. I don't believe in, 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 in magic. Well, I hope you do because you're going to leave a lot of magic to beat Tyson Fury on the night. Because listen, I didn't come here to disrespect. Respect we, Steve Cunningham about we, talent and we're we're bullshit. We're Listen, we're I'll fight any man urgent. on the planet. I, I, I'm a fighting we're man. We're that's what I do. We're Listen, we're I'm not named we're after a battleship. Tyson Fury is the name. I'm fighting the game. Okay, okay. End we, off. We, 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 we got you. But, but my, my thing is, like I said, I, I heard what you said about fighting, but, but one thing I would suggest, and I'll and I say this, I'll send this out to main events also. I have a lightweight fighter. If the guy's not a lightweight, we don't want to fight him. I have a heavyweight fighter. If he's not a heavyweight, don't he's match him. He's not a heavyweight, he's a cruiserweight. Like, I, 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 I'll let you speak. My thing is, if you're not a heavyweight, why would you be fighting a guy who's not a heavyweight? Why would you tell you why? Should I tell you why? Because he's not another heavyweight the on the planet, but then you step in the ring. But then you, he you talks say about the best Chris guy who's fought. Vladimir Klitschko's the biggest bitch I've ever seen. He will not fight Tyson Fury. He promised me to fight after I beat Derek Chisora. Listen, still no go area. I'm not even going to talk about Vitaly because no, he's a pension man. I don't want to fight this him. This is the method. Listen, this is the let's method. go. Forget this goes about Steve calling him. I don't want to hear no more about it. I understand. The cameras and the microphones, a lot of people dream to come over here because they want to be on the cameras and the microphones. So, by all means, Listen, I like Steve Cunningham Tennessee's first fight on national television. I don't know if you look up on boxing, but I'm a boxing historian. Check out my record, yeah? Every one of my fights have been on live national television in the UK. You know, I'm not I'm not a newcomer to cameras or microphones. I'm not going to speak with you right now. I bet you more people recognize me than recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I respect you. I respect you. One is, I respect you because Kathy Duvin and them bring you to the table. Don't make the same so, mistake so, that the so, Mayweather so, made. So I'm, I'm a chump. Mistakes that I'm just made. Being. We, we Kevin survived. Johnson made the same mistake. He got beat to death for 12 rounds. Listen. You ain't in the same level as Kevin Johnson. You're a small man, you're chinny, you're getting knocked out. You've been put down in every fight nearly you've had. And you've never been hit by now, now, before. Now you gotta ask yourself, why would the greatest fighter on the planet want to fight a guy like that? If I've just told you why. Do you need to tell him three more times? Because, because, because there's nobody else to fight. Yeah, that's you've what you've got Deontay Wilder. I know. He has. You've got Seth Mitchell just been knocked out. The other Chris Ariola, big fat bull. The, the main stuff in. They all do not want to fight. Who have this you is why I'm giving you credit. Okay. Who have you fought? Who have you fought? Let's have it right. Who have you fought? Everybody. Anyone. You the promoters point in front of me, that is who I fought. Bombs. Bombs may well they have, maybe they are. Yeah, yeah, like, like, you're just a hater. Like, 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 like,
Answer the question, you got big man. Sorry, you trust me. Okay. All right, all right. Let's press. Not on that young boy. Not on that young boy. Tell him to me. Again. Okay, okay. Attention, Tyson boys. Okay. Now, if you want to get some more of this, you're gonna have to pay.